All right, so we got a Lucid Group. This is also another darling from the COVID, uh, COVID meme stock era. Uh, went from being worth ten dollars all the way up to fifty two dollars within a month. So from January twenty twenty one to twenty twenty one, uh, February twenty twenty one, it went up five times. Um, so, so yeah, it's a uh, it's again a similar company to, I guess, uh, uh, NIO and the other, uh, you know, your Fisker Automotive. Actually, Fisker came before them, uh, most of them, but either way, it's an EV vehicle on the side, uh, trying to make, trying to break into the electric vehicle world. Uh, it's more of a high end vehicle. The cars look nice. Um, but yeah, it went from the stock being worth from over fifty to now it's back to fifteen dollars. Uh, what are your thoughts on this? Well, I mean, you know, this car companies in general they just have too many expenses, uh, and those expenses expenses they weigh on the bottom line, <clears throat> uh, and that's a recurring theme here. I mean, their revenue is up over three, four times from December 2020 to December 2021. So that looks good on the surface. Uh, but then you go look farther down in their income statement, you know, um, their their costs are just like through the roof. I mean, um, it's, uh, you know, I don't know. It's a tough sell, frankly. Um trailing 12 months so we're going to see another income statement or another you know financial statements all drop at the end of the year looks like things are way way up from december 2021 to now august 2022 but their expenses are four times as much as well and so they're actually underwater more than they were uh by about 25% um in three quarters so it's it's trending in the wrong direction frankly i mean the revenue's way up but the expenses are even more way up yeah no definitely uh it's it's almost like they're paying for customers as uh as weird as that sounds so well there's something to be said for that i guess a little bit of that happens in the ev market in general just to get the market off the ground. Yeah, but it, it just and the, this seems to be a lot it's more expensive to build an EV vehicle or e electronic vehicle as it is. <clears throat> um, and these guys are seeing that they don't really have the, <clears throat> the money like a Tesla or even like a Ford to to just account for all those costs. So they're they're having to buy parts from everywhere else and just so just so they can build their own car. Um, so they're essentially becoming like a, a specialized car builder. Um, well, which. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, which it would obviously it would hurt the bottom line. Yeah, and I mean, I'm looking at the trend in the earnings per share. We've got December 31st, 2019, basic and diluted earnings per share dropped at negative 17 cents a share. Fast forward a year later, December 31, 2020, basic diluted, basic and diluted earnings per share, negative 44 cents a share. Fast forward to December 2021. Negative six point four one, yeah. or, uh, EPS for both basic and diluted, and you know it's obviously trending in the wrong direction. But if you look at the revenue, the top line has just been growing exponentially. Bottom line is also growing exponentially, and it's because yeah. they need to get their costs under control. And without doing that, you can't make money. And maybe they're just too early in the growth phase. Maybe. I don't know. I just don't see the reason why <clears throat> anyone would want to uh, jump into this. And act, maybe if it was like, maybe if Tesla didn't exist, I mean, no, no other car existed. Again, like back in the day when Fisker was the only one that existed, maybe then, but, even, but now that there's so many other options, and you got the major cars, every single car company now, major car companies making an electric vehicle. That's uh, true. And that's the other thing about new vehicle companies that I've mentioned before is that they're just untested. So are people really going to want to go all in on a, a lucid electric car when they could try a Ford or a Tesla? Yeah, you're, you're, 
yeah, when, that, when cars you're, that you're, are tried and true like that are tested i mean you're essentially i think lucid is more of a porsche slash uh ferrari market um but i i, I don't know maybe why do i like the, the regular pool why do you like the uh, like a fifty thousand dollar range car more than 100k well tesla also started off like that they used the expensive cars marketed towards the higher yeah but look at higher net worth individuals to bankroll the cheap you know the r d required to get the cheaper cars yeah, out but tesla started growing once they started making a car for everybody now you see that car the three model the, the model three, model three yeah everywhere and you know you'll see 10 model threes before you see one model s and they're working hard to get that price point down and the, yeah. the other thing is that tesla did it first which gives them a huge advantage in that now Lucid is competing with these pre-existing Tesla models. And Tesla's a high-end brand. It's a good car. It's... Yeah. And uh, <clears throat> what is it with um with everyone loving these these electric cars? Why why is it what well, is everybody loving the electric stock? I mean, we <clears throat> well, because it is the way of the future. And it, it you know, people remember 15 years ago, they were barely just talking about, oh, we need electric cars, we need yeah, this. But... And there was one Prius model that was out there and there it was a hybrid and nobody had electric cars it was like a crazy thing and now everyone's getting all excited about it which is great the market should be moving in that direction but is it going to catch up fast enough for anyone to make money off of lucid ink in 2022 yeah, i don't know about that beyond the electric car ship and it's, it's <clears throat> i think one of them maybe might make it and all the other 40 of them is going to fill it just has to be like that and that's not to say that this is going to be one of them we don't know it, it you know there's been other companies losing money uh we talked about charge point for example is losing money but they're trending in the right direction on the top line and the bottom line and the earnings per share they're trending in the right direction even though they're not profitable let's talk about other companies you know that we've talked about other companies that are technically not profitable on the bottom line, but they're trending in the right direction. Lucid is trending in the wrong direction. They have to get their costs under control. Otherwise, this isn't going to make them or anybody else any money. That's my opinion. Yeah. So you're going to buy, if you have $1,000, you're going to buy, you know, what, a 70 plus worth of shares or? No. No, on an untested vehicle um, in a new market with uh, trends going in the wrong direction on every line no absolutely not what about you no i wouldn't it's it's going down obviously from its peak and i don't see it going back to 50 uh even like this is one of those even if it did go to 50 i i wouldn't be okay with it. there's no there's no reason to get excited if it did go to 50 and i had some stock um because obviously i it'd be more of uh I, I wouldn't feel right yeah.